How has Health Scotland assisted local health inequalities community planning processes in Highland? Well, recently they came to Highland in August and they worked with a group of people from our community planning partnership to help us think about um, health inequalities, whether we're addressing it well enough through our single outcome agreement. And they did that in a very collaborative and, um, I suppose, in a way that helped us to deflect on whether what we were doing was as good as it could be. So they didn't come and preach to us about this. Many people in the room understood why it was important to work um, in that way. But it did help us think again and challenge ourselves whether or not we're doing as much as we could be doing. Um, and one of the really important things that came out of that session was the promotion of a framework that we could use, which we are going to use now in our community planning partnership. And that's really going to um, help us understand whether we've got the right balance of actions um, across our single outcome agreement that we're taking forward together on whether we're reversing or preventing or mitigating against health inequalities. So it was good, it helped us reflect, but it also gave us some action to take forward and we're now working through that.